the game's really well done. Um, the amount of like poo-pooing that like magic players do to Hearthstone is kind of insane to me after having played it. Um, I think it's fine. Dustbreaker is insane and we have the Twilight Jake to enable it and Radiant Elemental is fine. I could maybe mulligan both of these looking for my one drop, but I think the sand's just fine. Like with the Dustbreaker, I don't really need the one drop aggressively. Turned our curse into our strength. It is more popular than Magic on Twitch, but as you can see, my Hearthstone numbers are worse than my Magic numbers because my audience is primarily Magic. There's more. There's more translation here from Magic to Hearthstone than there is from Magic to other things, though. Put this apple on your head. So the way this is getting set up, we're probably just like pointing out Dustbreaker on three. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely be rich. And the fact that I'm doing magic into Hearthstone also helps with the numbers. Yeah, we we barely hit 200 the first night I did it. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I'm just like cleaning this board up here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think and like the comparison we did, like judging Hearthstone today on what it was three years ago, is like judging modern when Eldrazi Winter happened, or judging standard when Ravager Affinity was the deck. So this draw makes holding this dragon better because this gets rushed if I have a dragon in my hand. I think I'm gonna go ahead and play Witchwood Piper, which gets another Nourishing Cleric out of my deck. Cleric is so good. Grabs the lowest cost minion out of our deck. Yeah, I agree, Be Rich. Um, the gameplay is really dynamic and interesting. And I actually really don't play any Magic off stream these days just because of how long it takes to play. Like, anytime I'm playing Magic, I'm like, well, I might as well fire up the stream because it's going to be like, you know, a three hour league. Whereas, like, Hearthstone, I can play like a 10 or 20 minute game here and there on my tablet. Yeah, and, it, and, and I don't think it's that one's better or worse than the other, right? It's just like they're different. They like scratch different parts of your brain, I feel like. Yeah, I think we just like scale worm hit this hit this 3-3, three, three, right? I guess I could scale worm hit the 2-2 two, two as well. Yeah, hitting the 2-2 two, two takes more pow total power off the table. So that's probably better. I don't want to play the cleric this turn, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass. It'll just get gobbled up by something over here. Yeah, yeah, that's why I bought the $5 intro pack. And then once it was like, all right, I really like this game. I gave them $50 so I could build the tier one tempo mage. And now I'm, let's not even talk about how much money I've given Blizzard at this point to have, have enough decks to stream. We're slowly going to get that money back from donation decks, but I've definitely given Blizzard copious amounts of money at this point. That is pretty good, but I have to survive to get there. Is someone injured? Is someone injured? That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent as well. Go ahead and smash here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and divine him here so I don't die by mistake. I also get to draw two more cards off of it, so that seems fine. We need to, oh, Wild Pyromancer is insane here. So Wild Pyromancer means we should be able to clean their board up next turn. I was gonna say, we really wanted another Dustbreaker, but Wild Pyromancer would do the trick too. And then once we survive to get to Primordial Drake, we'll be able to clean their board again. And honestly, I think what they're doing here is what they need to do. Like they just can't leave these clerics in play, like generating lots of card advantage. Just about to say, so long as they don't have this dickhead. All right, so I think we can actually beat this dickhead, right? I need to get through this taunt guy first, though. Do I have two of these? So I need to start with this, right? Like 
I need to play three things and keep this alive. I have a full clear. How do I, how do I full clear? Oh, because I can heal my stuff, right? This heals all minions. This only heals my stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and give this plus two. Circle first. Why does circle first? Because it's a free one? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And now I do this. That's a good turn. That was that was D's plus. And whenever they reassemble here, we get to go ahead and play the Primordial Drake out. This is aggressive. I guess they just really need to take this card off the table. We could potentially just set up the win next turn with this, right? If I hit a hit a whatever it's called. I did see the new Hearthstone Nurse Zone coming. They make me excited. I think they're gonna make Spellhunter a little bit better position, which is my favorite deck. So if they ignore this, we can go 10, tw 20, 40 and then we just need to hit this All right, sweet. So we have we have a draw to just kill them here. And we get to discover for it too. We just need an inner fire All right, they're dead. So this is a combo deck so we go Power word soup you up Make you double your health double your health set your attack equal to your health casual 40 you good game Boom! You know, you're the first Twitch channel I ever watched. I didn't want to get into it before, so kudos with so many sweet decks you play. You also regret not being able to buy cards. <laughs> we do play a lot of sweet things. We do play a lot of sweet things. Speaking of sweet things, that was kind of great. So again, you just like, you kind of just like control the board, control the board, control the board. One hit KO you. Blow them out, blow them out. Remember, if you're new to my Hearthstone content or my content in general and you want to see more of me playing Hearthstone, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Jeff Hogan. I archive everything I play up there and I cut up the decks so you can watch just the decks that you care about. Anduin versus Gul'dan. Yeah, Miracle Rogue will get a little bit better too, which is sweet. I definitely don't want to find him in my opener. Acolyte of Pain's probably fine to keep. If they're playing the Zoo deck, I'll be a little bit sad that I mulligan those, but ooh, candy. Candy. Is someone injured? Yeah, but like the combos have so many moving parts to set up. I really feel like the opponents have a lot of chances to actually interact with them, right? Yep, we have Shadow Mad and Madness or Master Spell to attack through their taunters. draw oh, I had a dragon already never mind <laughs> kill your thing kill your thing what you got skull is pretty terrifying Track just win a fair game, right, Sherabon? The overlay is so great. A A plus plus. I think there's enough ways to interact with Skull that it's fine to leave it untouched.
Like, Skull, you have a full turn cycle before it does anything, so just, like, play more weapon removal. We are unfortunately nowhere near a point where we can combo. I'm gonna do this here so that way it gets bigger than this, which is nice. I don't think I want to eat either of these. Why is Circle a great draw? Oh, because I can heal my stuff back up, I guess. <laughs> there is a method to my madness. Gross. Oh, I could have gotten some draw. Yeah, okay, I forgot that I could heal. Yeah, I should have I should have bumped in and then healed my things. I just didn't use my resources this turn. That 10 out of 10 should have happened. This is a uh, defile clear. Cube, sure. They have a gain eight here, we're probably dead. Yeah, that's gonna be all she wrote. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely could have bumped and drawn. Yep. Oh, and then the circle of healing would have healed their stuff too. So I would have drawn cards from that too. All right, yep. That's something I'm still doing. I'm like, I feel like my, in my mind, this is kind of a mid ranger or control deck, and in reality, I'm, I'm supposed to be just be like digging, digging hard for combo pieces. And that was definitely a spot where I took this more mid range role, and I should have started digging aggressively for combo pieces by drawing cards. Yeah, their, their draw was good, but I think I, I think I misassessed my role and took the wrong, took the wrong plays because I misassessed my role. That's, that's what you want to look at. You can't you can't change the fact that your opponent got a nut draw. What you can change is how, how you respond and how you interface with that nut draw, though. This hand is really bad. We're going to full wall. Just looking for our ones and our twos, even our threes. Like, uh, Accolade of Pain is great. This hand is pretty terrible. Unless they're playing Zoo. If they're playing Zoo for some reason, we could play this. It's the same person we just played. Nope, different one. Rock is exactly 500 tickets. That's great. I think I'm going to hold that. It's not worth trading for their 2 1. The life tap on 2 here likely means it's not 2. The balance changes seem really sweet. I think they're I think they're good overall. Way to get through this, I think. This card's not getting a lot better. It's annoying. What's going on, Prob? He'll come. still Thanks for getting demon next turn to spill when you need one. Ah. 
I'm just a sucker for spell hunter. So if you're gonna if you're gonna ask me, I'd say spell hunter. Yeah, I think the second giant means we're just gonna be dead here. All right. There was a draw that starts pulling us back into this game. It's certainly that one. Yeah, we are definitely getting card art 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 out card quality by a significant margin here. That knocks that off the tables. That way, if they want to trade this, they got to trade at least a four power guy. Oh, I guess they get to eat here. Oh, Shadow Madness lets us go off with their thing, right? That's why Shadow Madness is good. That's cute. I didn't think about that. That's, that's lights out, right? They smash this here. Not quite dead yet. Double Hellfire, we are dead. Got it. Doom Guard Hellfire, sure. Good game opponent. Shadow Man just lets you attack right away, right? I believe it does. I guess I could be incorrect on that. That's what I thought. Anduin versus Malfurion. Okay. So if they're taunt druid or master spell will be really important. Wild Pyrus I am gonna keep all of these. Unto is gross. Then, like, next turn, I can play this plus a coin, even potentially, and start doing stuff with this. Although, they're probably going to trade in here, right? Yeah, that'll be fine, Persip. I think this deck's sweet. I don't like is that some sequencing interactions make no sense. What do you mean? I think a lot of the sequencing interactions are really subtle and powerful. I like they make they make a lot of sense to me at least. I'm gonna play this and just pass. Next turn we can go bump draw card, heal draw card, kinda gas our hand up. Your magic shall not save you. Right away. I already have an inner fire, so no reason to get another one of those. First sip with the $10 donation. Thank you. Looks like we're playing against, uh, playing against what's it called here. That's pretty good. Um, Duskbreaker doesn't do anything yet.
I don't currently have a dragon. Come dance to my song. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass. This cobalt's really gonna mess us up. The scourge will devour all. And I play Hearthstone. Why do you play any games? I'm playing Hearthstone because I'm enjoying playing it. There's a lot of neat gameplay interactions. So I basically need... I feel like I don't have any outs here, we're just gonna get beat down. Hmm. This dragon isn't enabled. Yeah, we're just not gonna beat through their taunts. I guess I get it mass dispel. Mass dispel's kind of the nut. Can certainly draw some cards. Is I don't know why I played that. These enable each other now. I'm still dead. I didn't count. I just started clicking. Yeah, we're dead. You have best. Needed needed the mass dispel there. We could have coined power word to find mass dispel. Yeah, that's probably something that could have come together. I'm just going to full mull again looking for our, our one, twos, and threes. Peace, Mini Koopa. Have a good evening. All right. Hey, Cleric on one. It's pretty decent. Is someone injured? Just because it's so large. Oh, right, because the removal spell is, deal, is kill five or greater. want to re-roll here. This card is so weird. supposed to power word shield there hopefully we find our way to a dragon so the scale worm can kill one of their things that would be ideal all right so it's an actual factual mirror match They're drawing way more cards than we are. It's gonna play a 4 4 out. Oh, we got it off Glimmer. Yeah, it did say that underneath it, didn't it? Yep, created by Curious Glimmer. Look at that, game logs are great. Come 
dance to my song. We can make a huge creature with Radiant. It wasn't quite that great. It was like 612. 12 is not big enough. I think I want to save myself to one hit KO them. I assume we're going to see like eat trade here. Fine too. Trade eat. They played Hearthstone cards. Isn't surgical extraction necessary? There's no. There's not quite any surgicals in this game. Am I? Is it nuts to heal this and to draw a card? Odd Paladin is only going to get better, right? Because it's going to get rid of the Recruit card. Well, I guess, like, maybe it just doesn't want that effect. I think we're dead again. This deck doesn't seem very good. I know I'm not playing it perfectly, but just, like, in terms of raw power level, doesn't seem particularly stellar. I mean, or they just, like, Shadow Word kill it and we die on the spot. Oh, Cobalt means they're spiteful, but they didn't they didn't play anything before Cobalt to really indicate they were spiteful, right? I guess the three drop probably indicates that they're spiteful. They played Glimmer Root that indicates they're spiteful. It's a good thing to keep track of. I think you're pretty close to a clear with that, right? I can play one, two, three, four things. I'm just not, not nearly big enough. Oh, I fuck, I had to do this first. pretty dead regardless there but we were definitely dead yeah i think identifying that they were on spiteful early um was probably important and then we could have known that and used used that to our advantage it's like just doesn't seem terribly consistent like the fact that like every piece of every minion they put into play is removal just means like this deck's so so much worse than than a lot of things right because you like have to ready with a minion basically Nah, I don't care about the stars. So, speaking from years of TCG experience of playing decks that are hard to play, generally that just means they're bad. Generally hard to play means this deck has a very low power level, so you have to minimize and maximize every small decision you make because the power level of the deck isn't good enough to ever carry you through any wins. Like decks, decks that are full of like small edges type decisions, generally, generally they're hard to play because like you don't have any big swings or any actual powerful cards in your deck to really make things happen. So the fact that they played Wrath means they're not playing Spiteful. They could be playing like Taunt Druid. What? 
Do you have like a Firefly or something you're thinking about playing here? Uh, ten, ten dollars, Gregel. Ten, ten dollars. Ten dollars gets you on the list. What you got? Are we just roping here? Or you actually have a decision to make? Probably just roping, right? Well, it looks like they're poking at cards in their hand. They have a card that just like deals two, right? Yeah, it upgrades as they get armor. Real big here. Do I just do this as a way to cantrip here and then I can play this and draw another card next turn? I think so. It feels really miserable. Like, just like, so many of the decks at Hearthstone are just like what I would describe as like card quality decks. So like the fact that this deck really lacks card quality puts it behind in all of these matchups where you can't like assemble your multi-card combo. So we have to go bump, bump, heal, draw two next turn. They have four resources still. It's a big in. That's pretty good. No, we played a bunch of modern this morning, so I'll publish all my I'll publish all my stuff on YouTube after this, but we won't be playing any more magic today. We've been live for almost eight hours now. Right away. This is gonna be our last deck of the day. Maybe trading there was a little bit aggressive because they can't actually attack with that if they don't have armor. Yeah, the trade was probably loose. I want to stick that around to draw more cards so we can amass our combo. God, we're so dead. They trigger this. I guess they have to trigger this three times to kill this. I mostly just want to draw more cards here, which is nice. They'll use their hero power to finish the Drake. Uh. I'm just gonna Drake here. Right away. I guess this lets them hero power to kill my 1-1, one, one, but they're gonna need to do that anyways. I could have gotten a point of damage in. Yeah, this deck definitely doesn't have a good mid-range backup plan. Just like low quality cards. Gross. To kill my 4-1 now. I guess this means I get to draw another card, which is really good for me. Definitely 10 out of 10 in to draw another card. another really bad card like these cards seem super terrible i get that you can like kind of use them to like what's the word i'm searching for right um you can use them to heal your guy up before you make a big attack but i really feel like in boards our our, our units aren't high enough quality to like make healing them with this a real thing that happens i guess maybe it's good with wild pyromancer to keep that going It seems a little narrow on the surface, though. Oh, Alright, we're assembling combo pieces, slow and steady. 
Smush. Smush. I just do this and draw two here. Probably. I think slivers are like a bad humans deck by and large. I think the reading seems fine too. I'm gonna wait half a second on this and see what we do. Depending on what they do here, we could we could potentially kill them next turn. That's a good series of hits, depending on like what their what their turn looks like. Plus two into 20. So if we hit one more of these, we can go into 40. And we have Shadow Visions plus some draws potentially to do that. We just have to like punch through whatever taunt minions they have. That's really unfortunate for us. Is Togwaggle Druid a wild deck or a standard deck? That was actually really good for us, so... So I get to go ahead and do this, right? And then I'm gonna start with this, and we need to hit a... We need to hit a Divine Spirit. Okay, sweet, so they're dead. So power you up, and then 40 you. We can get the BM extra damage here, potentially. You guys ready for the beatdowns? You guys ready for the beatdowns? You ready to slam? Ready to slam? Oh yeah! 80. Is that good? All right, all right. Let's see if we can do that one more time. Another game or two in us. K Smith with the five dollar donation. Here's some money. Thanks for getting Blizzard to nerf Q Block. You're the best. Thanks for the tip, Kyle. This is called Inner Fire, Inner Fire Priest. There's a budget version as well that you can build. Actually, does that have any legendary cards in it? It doesn't, right? This sounds great. If you're into doing big things, this deck is really good at letting you do big things. How's going on, Tommy? Catch us right at the tail end. It's gonna be my last one of the day. I'm gonna do this to make it survive this, which is nice. I guess you do need shadow visions, right? Which is an epic. and refresh your page. Right away. I'm just gonna draw a card here. Again, just try and focus on being a combo deck. Some more divine spirits. Power word shield is also okay. I guess I could coin power word shields here. 
So that way it lives through this, but then they'll just hit it from their hand with their champ power, so that doesn't make sense. I don't care how much armor you have. So... Dustbreaker's not a bad draw. Cleans this out and gives me a draw off of this. Yeah, I have an okay grasp what we're doing. Like I said, it's just tough when our opponents get on the board, right? We're actually almost set up to kill them, right? I'm pretty close. This is six. I guess we need a we need a Kickstarter. So we need like an initial large minion, and then we'll be able to go boop boop boop. God, that's good for us. We're gonna draw two cards here. We draw a card off the swipe, then we draw a card off their thing. Okay, we could be set up to kill them as early as next turn or two turns from now. Sorry. Draw another card here. Oh, that's a cleric. Oh, what a tilt. Is someone injured? So I can go 5, 10, 20, which is still short, unfortunately. So it really sucks that we lost that shadow word. I have, I am out of divine spirits. So I actually couldn't discover that anyways. I'm out of sh power word shield too. We're actually gonna be a little bit. So we, we, need, we need a bigger minion in play basically. So next turn is probably gonna be like coin coin primordial drake which will let us draw a card here yeah the fact that they're armoring up is really smart so they're at uh, 45 right now that's pretty good i just play this now right not close this is 44 next turn, if they don't take it off the board. Your magic shall not so. save. I don't know, Gold. It just gets hard to coordinate stuff like that. As the audience grows, like, it becomes more people want to do it. It just becomes a little bit tough. Well, that's kind of insane, right? I have nine cards, so this would put me to eight cards. This would, this would burn a card out of my deck. I just shouldn't have played that. Yeah, I'm aware their minions draw two. Maybe trading those was wrong. I don't know, I was roping. Why do I want to burn cards there? Yep, super punished. Well, that's perfect. Oh, that doesn't deal damage. I don't have a dragon yet. Things to note. Come dance to my song. Do you like to play with fire? Play with my fire heart is too full. Uh, 
Uh, HS deck stats is a good a good website for data. All right, so they're at 55 right now, which is a big number. It's a pretty big number. Do you like to play with fire? Uh. Nah, that's gonna be the last game. I'm gonna try and kill them, I think. They could play a giant taunter out. No walls can hold me. in the deck right that twilight drake i can only 40 them though is the issue going to wrap us up for the day folks i appreciate it one more draw i lied i lied i'm gonna make him kill me doesn't have battle cry that's sweet okay so they they're a cube druid deck that's really neat okay i like it natural conclusion there thanks everyone for hanging out i do appreciate it i'm gonna publish on a bunch of stuff on youtube both hearthstone and magic and uh, i'll be back tomorrow morning as well as tomorrow evening so wednesday i'm doing a short magic stream in the morning and then a longer magic stream in the evening so people can have some evening us time for me to be live uh i'll catch you all around thanks for the support thanks for sticking out through the end of the day